Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. It's gonna be a really busy day, so I am not gonna bore you with a long intro. I'm gonna just say, let's go ahead and jump into it and have an amazing day together. Guess what, guys? Look at little baby garter snakes. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of them. Mama, who doggy, you had a bunch of babies. Now this is just a normal heifer albino, so it's not a granite or anything like that, but it was bred to an albino granite, so we should absolutely have some albinos, which we do, and of course normals that are double het for granite. So let's go ahead and get Mama just in a holding tub for now. Go ahead, Mama, I'm sorry. I'll get you cleaned up and back in your home pretty soon. So let's go ahead, oh my gosh, there is a lot. What do you say, uh, maybe we start with all the albinos huh? So, all right, we've got one, two, three, and I'm just gonna put them in a bucket right here so we can get them set up. There's four, five, six, seven. Oh, these are fresh too. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh, come on, little monkey. Nine, they are so absolutely cute. Nine, and it looks like maybe 10 albinos. Looks like we have 10 albinos. I'd say we have more normals that are, of course, double half for albino granite. So we've got one, two, and they are absolutely so cute. There's three, four. Oh my gosh, come on, little guys. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, there is a bunch of these guys. There's nine, 10. All right, so we definitely have more normals than we had albinos. There's 11, 12. Gosh, that means there's 22 babies already. That is a big litter of garter snakes. Who doggy? All right, there's 13, 14, 15, and 16. Oh my gosh. We're gonna check really quick, just see if any are hiding in here. Let's see, it looks like that is about it. So there it is, guys. 26 little baby garter snakes. There's 10 albinos and 16 normals. Again, all the albinos are heifer granite. All the normals are double heifer albino and granite. Oh my God, how awesome is that? We are in the dungeon, guys, which only means one thing. We have a ball python clutch today, huh? Yes, we do. All right, what do we got? We have a normal female bred to a fire yellow belly. Okay, so it's not like a super exciting pairing, but hey, all eggs are good. I still love fires. I love yellow bellies. I love fire yellow bellies. Let's see what we got. My dad is really pretty, so I'm expecting oh, pretty babies. Oh, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's almost fire-esque, you know? It's got that really faded. Wow, it's got a lot of eggs. Really? Wow, look at that. Holy moly. Oh, that is a lot of eggs right there for that guy. So that's cool. Because it's a double codon, that means that on average, one in four of these should be both fire and yellow belly. And then we'll get a whole bunch of fires and yellow bellies and combinations thereof. Regardless, that's a lot of eggs. Good job. How many eggs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, nine eggs. That is not bad. Only one clutch today, but uh, I tell you what, nine beautiful eggs, no slugs. Absolutely incredible, Kelsey. Thank you. Got my tour just showed up. You guys came from Chicago? We did. What's your name again? Davis. Davis, how are you? Um, you ready for fun? Yeah, All I right, have five lizards. You have five lizards, what kind? Um, I have one Savannah marble. Wow. He's only that big. Okay. <laughs> one Chai Dragon and two bearded dragons. And my blue tail skin. Oh my gosh. You, you have amazing stuff. Unbelievable. Well, we're going to see a lot of stuff. We're going to have fun, all right? All right, let's see. And you brought me your little Savannah monitor yeah. to take a look at, huh? Oh my gosh, he is a little dude, isn't he? Yeah. He's super cute, though. I can't believe we, we did the biggest mistake in our life. What? Um, getting one of these, because we, we only have a little house. <laughs> we're going to get a five-foot monitor. It'll just take over your room, and that's okay. Don't worry about it, right? He's super cute. Where's the extra room, huh? <laughs> Eric says he has an idea for the Reptarium. What do you yeah, got? Yeah, I do. I found a toucan dealer. A okay. toucan dealer? <laughs> He's I in Michigan. He's in Michigan. Dude, 4,800. I say we get three or four of them. <laughs> what? Four of them? Whose Listen. money are we spending? I, I know, know who's going to go to a bank. <laughs> we'll go to a bank and they just give you some. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde. Dude. I, I, I'll be honest with you. Toucans are amazing. So they would be cool. so great for like educational shows. You think your mom would let us? I swear, no. if you buy one, there's no more Eric. Oh yeah, I'd be done for. Yeah, I mean, you guys too. I mean, you're, you know. <laughs> but we could blame Eric. 
Yeah, and get him I'm willing, fired. I'm willing to go down for this one. I, mean, <laughs> I, I like how nobody's considering me on this. I gotta clean up after this game. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, two kids are a little bit dirty, but yeah, I, I like, I like the way messy. you think it, though. I like yeah, it. I like yeah. it. Let's do it. This is Dude, just... it would fit right in there, the whole little jungle theme. You know, you got the reptiles, birds, you know, maybe a mammal. This is on the road. This has sloth. This has bad news written all over it, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I always love when we link up with Audible because you guys know how busy I am around here. Oh, He's doing a million things. It helps to pass the time when you're doing mundane tasks like cleaning all these Kaluber drags to listen to an audiobook. And right now, I am obsessed with this audiobook that is called The Last Croc Hunter from Bob Irwin. That's right, Steve Irwin's dad. It is unbelievable listening to this audiobook. It just makes some of the hours of the mundane work that I have to do from time to time pass like you can't believe it. I encourage you guys to go over to Audible and check out The Last Croc Hunter. You won't be disappointed. Listening makes us smarter, more connected people. It makes us better partners, parents, and leaders. And there's no better place to start listening than Audible. Audible is where so many inspired voices and compelling stories open listeners up to new experiences and ways of thinking. There's no better place than to listen than Audible because now Audible members get even more exclusive audio fitness programs, audiobooks, Audible originals, and more. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet, and now with Audible Originals, the selection has gotten even more custom with content made for members. Every month, Audible members get one credit for any audiobook they choose, plus two Audible Originals from a changing selection that they can't get anywhere else. Get your first audiobook free with two Audible Originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash Brian Barczyk or text Brian Barczyk to 500-500. Again, audible.com slash Brian Barczyk or text Brian Barczyk to 500-500. And with Audible Originals, they're exclusive of audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, literature, and more. With Audible, you own your books. Access your books anytime, anywhere, right from your smartphone. On a personal note, I like the speed control. You can literally listen at any speed you want, faster or slower. My mind works so fast, sometimes a slower title actually slows me down. I want it to be as fast as I possibly can, so I can listen to an audiobook even quicker than most people can. Regardless, please do me a favor, show Audible some love, because they support this show, and by supporting the show, I'm able to bring you this vlog each and every day for free. So if you could please support my sponsors, it would mean so much to me. I'm gonna go ahead and head to my favorite farm store to pick up a chick for beer day, some hay for the tortoises. You guys know I love this place. What do you say we hit the road? Definitely at my favorite store, as you can see. Let's see what's going inside. Of course, last time I picked up a shirt that uh, was a little embarrassing. I don't want to talk about it. So later on tonight, we have a new special event, Sip and Paint at the Reptarium, which I am very excited about because this is one of my babies that I came up with. The response has been really good. People seem excited, so I can't wait. And another idea that I'm working on is snake yoga here at the Reptarium. We've got something brewing and we're gonna be publishing a date probably in August to do that. Well, this isn't starting out very well. Looks like we don't have any Timothy hay, which I need, and I don't think they have chicks here, so. Uh, my favorite store has let me down a little bit, but I'm going to keep looking around and see if at least I can see if there's chicks. Now I'm going to have to go over to Tractor Supply. Maybe they at least have Timothy Hay. It's just like the new thing, griddling. Instead of barbecuing, you griddle. So let me know in the comments, are you guys uh, on the griddle bandwagon? Team griddle, bro. So Tractor Supply didn't have anything either. So uh, I just basically wasted an hour and a half round trip to go get hay and chicks. And uh, so now we're not feeding Viridae. Uh, I don't have hay. So uh, that is a bummer. That doesn't ever happen, but uh, there it is. So that's just got to roll with the punches, right? So on to the next thing. Had a few people asking about salt and pepper and just updating them. I think that they were in the vlog like a week and a half or so ago, but they're doing great. They're really amazing animals. But I figure since I'm going to update you, I might as well go ahead and weigh them. Last time I weighed salt, she was about 372 grams, if I'm not mistaken. She's been eating like a pig, so I'm assuming she's gonna get bigger. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see if I can get her on the scale here. Go ahead, girl, come on, I know. They're getting big to get them on. I'm gonna have to come up with a new system pretty good because before I could just fit them right in here, uh, now, not so much. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do here. Uh, she's in there enough. 
427 grams. So that's good. She gained over 50 grams. That's absolutely amazing. Look at how absolutely gorgeous it is. I love this animal. You have no idea. And we're doing a lot of training with these guys. Now, that way when you put them in someone's hands, they don't move around at all. Because obviously as a baby, moving around is not that big of a deal. But when salt and pepper gets six, eight foot long, when they're squirming around, it's going to be a problem. So we've been training them and you can see how incredible she's doing. Of course, I got my guy Pepper here. And by the way, I made a little mistake. I thought it was weird. I thought that salt was growing a lot quicker. Well, she was actually 250 grams. Pepper was 370 grams. That means she almost doubled her weight. She went from 250 to 427 grams. That is crazy to me. And again, he was 370 grams. So let's go ahead and see. Now he's not going to be easy at all because he's so big. So we're going to do our best we could do to somehow get him to just kind of relax just for long enough to weigh him. 652 grams. Ooh, doggy. So Pepper grew a lot too. Oh my gosh, these guys are getting big and their growth rate is accelerating quickly. Oh my gosh. So those of you guys that want to know what's up with salt and pepper, there's your update. Got some fish to feed my Mata Mata turtles and actually I'm going to feed our Asian green vine snake. Sometimes we feed her gecko, sometimes frogs, but today she's going to get some fish. Next up is to try to feed the Asian vine snake, see if it'll eat it. Uh, sometimes it'll eat in front of us, sometimes we just leave it in and they're gone in the morning. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's hiding back in the leaves, it's actually right there. So everybody's here, the event's getting started. I'm super excited. We've got people, we've got snakes, we have drinks, and we have snakes. What more could you want? So we're having a blast here. Um, you're probably gonna be sad that you weren't here. That means next time we have this, you're gonna wanna sign up. This is a lot of fun. A lot of people from all over the place coming. We have people from Wisconsin drive here just to do this. I think that's awesome, and we're having a really good time. <laughs> Even face painting. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I I think they might be having too good of a time. So uh, I'm just here to be the the normal like not mess around guy. So I'm keeping everyone in check, making sure there's no problem and no one messes with the animals without me. It's about 10 o'clock at night. The paint and ship party was a success. Lori had a great time. Everyone had a great time. Some really talented sign makers in here uh, getting a chance to hang on to some animals. Just an all around really amazing night. And that is where we're gonna leave it. I'm gonna wish you an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be looking. You guys are amazing and I love you. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>